what's up guys so I'm gonna be uh, <coughs> unboxing this it's basically the brand I bought okay basically is yes, but like extra ram I already had 16 gigs of ram so decided to get 16 more <laughs> basically so here it is let's see yeah, this is gonna be my thumbnail So this is, as you can see, the Z, XPG Z1 DDR4 memory. So it's DDR4. And here it's 8 gigs times 2 <coughs> desktop unit. So I'm going to add this. It has 3000 megahertz, or it's clocked at 3000 megahertz. So let's open it. It's got a little plastic here. or something or a box cutter Right. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna lay this down so I can add the, the RAM. It's kinda of heavy though. Shit. I'm gonna lay this down so I can add the RAM. Kinda of heavy though. There we go. Wait, it's on the other side. There we go. Put this on there. Okay, so now we can open this. Put that right here. Okay, so far it's not bad. have to dust that it's pretty dusty the fan on the graphics card this is the internet Wi-Fi so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is uh, add some RAM on here on the slots the one I just got these well, I'm curious if they're the same see let's grab one of these see what if there's any difference Okay. 
but it's pretty much similar almost. 3000. It's both using 1.35 volt volts. DDR4 3000. Alright, we'll, we'll try it out. Basically, I'm just gonna put it on the same spot I got it. So. There we go. As long as it clicks in place, it's good. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now I'm gonna put these. Instead of this way, it's this way. Because this one's like lower. So, yeah. There we go. Should be good. Now the rams are filled up. Damn. I don't know how this is gonna go. Alright, time to test it. Alright, I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. Oops, it's spinning way too much. This one I really want to upgrade, maybe later in the future, the SSD, because it's only 240 gigs, I want like one terabyte. <clears throat> I don't know how this is gonna work. Alright. The reason I added more RAM basically is because I do a lot of editing and you know and video got a lot of stuff open at the same time so I don't know how you know besides gaming so I don't know that's how I'm gonna add that. hope that helps maybe what the upgrade oh, came right off
Alright. Alright guys, moment of truth. Okay. It's working. So far no nothing exploded. Let's see. Alright. Is it detecting it? Let's go to the BIOS. There you go. So I'm gonna check if it's detecting the the RAM. Okay, it's detecting all the RAMs. Right there. Dim slots. Dim eighty two four. Okay, so I got thirty two. <laughs> there you go. Thirty two gigs of RAM. Alright. So I got the fan control. Let's check the, the fan control. I got it on turbo. Just gonna check if it works. I don't think this is gonna make a big difference, but hey, just wanna see what happens. PC boots up pretty fast, though. Less than a minute. There we go. Alright. Works. So nothing bad happened. We're gonna check the thing. This thing that's open in CPU Z. That's what we're, we're trying to look at. Okay, so from what I'm seeing, uh, core speed. That's the CPU I got, it's an IA7-8700K, so these are the cache, main board, that's the motherboard, memory, okay we got all the memory, so it's 32 gigs right there, DDR4 dual, <laughs> alright nice. So uh, yeah, it's a different. This one is Samsung, the original one. Wait, the the new one is Samsung, but the the older one is Nanya Technology. Cool. All right. Just want to see how it's gonna do it. Different, different brand, but it's the same thing. All right. So it works. That's it, basically. Let's go to the GeForce thingy. Let's go to the settings. Okay, from here it says 1080 Ti, 31 gigs of RAM. Yeah, okay, well, 32. Okay. Alright. Nice.